It's author Sandra Wilson and I'm here in the Kindness Kangaroo Library for another story time session. And today's session features a story about, you guessed it, a pig. Today we're reading Everybody Loves Bacon and it's written and illustrated by Janine Massey Landreth and Leanne Thompson. And it's a cute story of friendship starring Bacon the pig. And there are other bacon books as well that we'll have coming up later on um, in our story time sessions. So be sure to subscribe and like the Kindness Kangaroo Library uh, YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our stories. All right, are you ready for today's story? Let's read all about bacon. Hello there. This is Toast and this is Cheese. Their best friend in the whole wide world is bacon. They love bacon, but then Everybody loves bacon. Do you want to know why? One day, Toast and Bacon were heading to school on the big shiny bus. Bacon noticed Cheese was not on the bus. Uh-oh. Bacon panicked and screamed, Stop the bus! Shh, the bus driver slammed on the brakes. The bus doors opened and Cheese made it onto the bus. Bacon saved the day. Are you still curious why everybody loves bacon? Are you? It was a bright sunny day at the playground, but Toast had no one to play with. Then... Bacon came to the rescue! Pink booty shaking, a twisting and a turning, doing the greasy pork chop hop! Toast's frown turned upside down. What an amazing friend! Need another reason why everybody loves bacon? Well, grab your sunglasses and your beach ball because Cheese is ready to show you. Off to the pool we go! Toast and Cheese were at the edge of the swimming pool, staring into the crystal blue water. They were scared to jump in. Suddenly, get a ball! Splash! Bacon showed Toast and Cheese the water was tons of fun. Their fears went away. They grabbed hands and jumped into the pool together. Bacon had done it again. There they go. One, two, three, jump! Bacon made everything better. Do you still want to know why? While chilling in the pool, Bacon heard the sweet, delicious sound of the ice cream truck. Yummy! Bacon's love of ice cream brought them together for a sweet, tasty treat before bedtime. Bacon is awesome. Strawberry cheesecake with a cherry on top. Mm, vanilla with bacon sprinkles. Butter pecan with butterscotch syrup. After a long day of fun in the sun, it was time to get ready for nighty night. There they are, getting ready for bed. All tucked in, Bacon was ready to read a bedtime story. Boom! Crash! The covers over their heads to hide from the thunder and lightning. Suddenly, the smell of a stinky toot blew their jitters away. Ew! They laughed so hard. Bacon made them forget about the thunder and lightning. Bacon was a hero once again. Remember, screech, stinky toot, greasy porky chop hop, yummy splash. Everybody loves bacon. That's such a fun story about friendship and all the different ways that bacon helped his friends feel better, uh, have fun, and not be too afraid of the storm when they're having a sleepover. So I think it's also a great inspiration to write a story of our own friendships. So have you experienced a sleepover with your friends before? What a great story that could make. What kinds of things did you do at your sleepover? Did you play games? Did you tell stories? Did you have a pillow fight? What kinds of pajama fun did you have? And take that idea and write it into story. And if you haven't had a sleepover with your friends yet, imagine what that would be like and put that into a story. Maybe you'll have some fun characters like Bacon the Pig, or maybe you'll just create characters out of your real friends. Either way, I hope you have fun writing a sleepover story. Again, I hope you enjoyed Everybody Loves Bacon. And underneath in the description, you will find a link so that you can get your own copy. I hope you again join us for another story time session. Bye.